everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got an exciting new kit to share with you guys today. These, uh, it's a Saturday afternoon and FedEx is working on Saturdays and this showed up. I uh, wasn't even expecting it. These are the brand new 30 second scale B24J Liberators from Hobby Boss. An absolute massive, massive kit as you can see right here. Plus, it also has a complete interior on this kit. So the bomb bay with all the bomb racks inside and the bombs, all that stuff inside. You've got the, uh, the bottom turrets, the top turrets, all the detail and the cockpit, of course, really super detailed inside this massive, massive kit. Uh, I've heard about these obviously for a little bit of time now, so we're very excited. Didn't know they were actually coming before Christmas. Then all of a sudden, a couple boxes showed up and we've got a big pile of them right here in our store. So what I thought I would do today, since I've got a couple of minutes, I thought I would break one of them apart, show you guys all the parts inside, and just show you how big this kit really is right here. So let's get started. Okay, I just got all of the parts cut out of their bags and we've got piles and piles of plastic everywhere right now. And as you can imagine, this is a monster kit, so there is a lot, a lot of plastic involved in that. Uh, there's even more over here. We have the wings on the other side, which would even fit into camera here. So what I thought I would do is we're gonna break it down in little sections. We're first gonna take a look at all these little parts and get the camera a little bit closer to it so you can see all that. So all the clear parts, the decals, all that other kind of stuff. And then we'll pull back because we're gonna need uh, my biggest tripod because it's gonna have to be fairly far away to get all of the, uh, the body parts in camera on one shot. So let's take a look at the internal part or the small parts. Okay, first thing we're gonna take a look at are all the clear parts. And here's our massive front canopy. I'm going to try to show you a little bit more in depth on this particular review so you can see a lot more. But I know sometimes when you're looking at the, the sprue shots, you can't always see anything, especially on such large pieces. So that is your main canopy. This is the, uh, the little section of the canopy that goes in the front nose. Some of those parts. And finally, two of the turrets, both the front and back turret. And this one, I believe, must be the back one because it's the fogged one. And then this is a two, two part of turret right here. And you can see the parts that they fogged as opposed to the clear part, so you know which parts to paint pretty easily. So you get three big sprues of clear parts. I'm not going to open up this bag right here because these are just the uh, the landing gear, uh, but you can see how they come in the package just like that. Also, you get three, as you can imagine, look at the size of these things. These are like mini donuts right here. They're so large. And actually, we can, we can cut this open as well and let you guys see the, the tread pattern. Obviously, they're rubber tires, so you're not going to have the weighted part, but I'm sure that there's an aftermarket company coming out with that if you wanted that. But uh, these look pretty good just right out of the package here. And just such a massive piece. Uh, we also have some more rubber parts right here. These, I believe, are probably machine gun belts. that Because uh, they're flexible and they're hooked up to all the 50 cals. And also we have our photo etch sprue or fret here. This is all for all your engines and a few other basic parts right here. Not, not an excessive amount of photo etch, but this will certainly show up nice on all the engines. And the last little part we're gonna take a look at right now are the decals. Now, it looks like they have four different marking setups for it. We've got some pinup girl here, my aching ass, <laughs> which is kind of a funny one right there. I think if I was to build something like this, I think I'd probably put that one on it if I have my choice of the four here. Actually, three. There's three, I think, different ones. Not four. That's the other side of the uh, the other pinup. But let you see those right there. Those look like to be some pretty nice-looking decals. Um, we also have, since, since we're showing you the decals, we'll show you the, uh, the color chart for it here as well. 
This is, there is, there is one version in here that is an olive drab color. I know sometimes the J's are usually always the, uh, the metal, which can be daunting to some people who don't want to do the metal finish on such a large piece. It looks really cool that way, but there is one version in here, War Goddess, that is in all olive drab. And lastly, the thing that we're going to look at of the of the paper products is the instruction booklet and it is indeed a booklet because there is quite a bit inside of here and very looks like to be clear and easy to follow instructions just like that so now let's take a look at the parts and that's the thing you guys came here for first thing we're going to take a look at is the fuselage and i'm gonna to have to pull back a little bit to see if we can get the entire thing in frame Okay, there we go. Now let's take a look at this beast. And hopefully you can see it just right in the light. I want to do it this way so you guys can see the rivet detail. And it seems to be fairly fine and not over pronounced. Sometimes you make the rivet detail a little too crazy on these kits and it shows. But I think that actually looks really, really good. Now overall, it's big obviously. We talked about that. But it's over 25 inches, and that's not even the complete plane once you get everything on it. So it's probably gonna be about 26, 27 inches long for the fuselage. I'm gonna move that over there. And now let's take a look at the wings and just measuring those off just to give you guys a general idea. Each one of the, each half of the wing is almost 20 inches long. So we're talking once everything gets put on here, close to a four foot wingspan on this beast. And here's the top wing. Let you see some of the, uh, once again, some of the rivet detail. And then the bottom wing that holds the landing gear, things like that. So some really, really big pieces. So if you can imagine it right here on size wise, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a big piece. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way. And before I cut camera, I just wanna show you this piece too. This is the giant heavy-duty uh, support that is going to bind the two wings together and mount it to the fuselage. And it is very, very thick and rigid. I mean, it's, it's going to definitely hold up because you're going to need it. When we're stretching out almost two feet in either direction, it is definitely going to require some, some heavy-duty plastic. And this is it. And since we're looking at this sprue, we'll look at the other pieces on here. This looks like it's part of the, uh, the floor some of the other parts in there and don't forget to at the end we're going to do a breakdown of every one of the sprues like we always do so now let's take a look at all the the much easier to show off sprues we don't have to be so far away so i'm going to zoom in and we'll be right back okay now we're going to take a look at the uh the tail some very nice looking detailing on that and and massive of course and then here's the other part of the tail the horizontals of it it too is pretty big, but luckily, other than the uh, the two big sprues that we showed you, you know, the body and the, the fuselage and the wings, everything else comes on these, these smaller sprues. So right in through here, we have some of the detail parts, including a couple of the 50 cals that are in this kit. And behind here are just some little detail parts. They're nothing, nothing great. I just don't want to take those off because they're very fragile and they might break when we move all this around. Here are some more body panels. And then we'll get over into this section and through here. We've got some of our detail stuff. Kind of just briefly go over that for you. This must be the, uh, the catwalk in the middle, going down the middle of the bomb bay. Now remember, this is a full interior kit. So we're gonna to start to take a look at some of these sprues. You get two of this particular sprue right here and you have all of our bombs in here and look at the way they've done the, uh, the fins for the bombs. They're molded in two pieces. So two pieces and you've got the whole thing put together there. And then we have all of our oxygen tanks and some of the other detail parts for the inside there. So remember there's two of these. Move this other one out of the way. And then we have the uh, the engine nacelles here that are uh, some big, big bird pieces, <laughs> we'll call them. So obviously a big bird. Some of the other pieces there. And here we have 
It's more of the interior of the airplane. This is something too I've noticed lately. You guys might notice it too. You notice we always used to always get push pins on the back. More and more I'm getting these model kits in where the push pin is only half and they've like in knock out some excess plastic. So like this thing right here, you're gonna you know, just snap off and you know you sand that out smooth if or this is actually gonna go up against something. But if you guys notice that too, especially uh some of the new armor kits have a lot of this on it. But uh not taking away from the detail because the details all on the other side of the kit. And then we're getting to two of these sprues and this is going to have all of your engine parts for uh, two of the engines, two propellers, uh, you've got your, your uh, superchargers and just enough engine detail. Don't forget when you're looking down inside the cowl in here what you're going to be able to see inside. And we just have a couple other sprues left here. This is the sprue that has the main amount of 50 cals on it. And looks like some of the other parts to the, the turrets. And then we have some more looks like center supports to the uh, to the inside of the airplane. We also have the big uh, instrument panel, more 50 cals. And lastly, what looks like probably bomb racks right here and some of the components that make up for it right there. So lots of little parts that are gonna make up the interior on this, uh, this big, big beautiful airplane. There is a, uh, a complete look at all of the different parts that make up this, uh, this big beautiful kit here. Uh, the, it is available actually now in the United States. I have them available in my store. In fact, you might have seen I've moved that pile to the back over there now. Uh, retail is $250 on that, but you're going to be able to find them le much less than that. So for about $200, you're getting a very, very nice large kit. It's beautiful, beautiful looking pieces on it. Also keep in mind too, the uh, HK Lancaster will be coming out. So if you're in the, uh, the mood to do some large scale bombers, between this, the B-25 and the B-17 that HK has out, and the soon to be Lancaster, this is a... Uh, a test shot that they sent me a while back of the Lancaster. So some big, beautiful airplanes going to be available very, very soon. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.